All right, so here's the deal. We have here the old game plan. You may notice a little bit crinkled up, actually torn here on the sides. And yes, we tore it out of what we're calling the scheme book, which is just a notebook that we're calling the scheme book. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna crinkle it up, not gonna throw it away. We're just gonna put it off to the side here. Maybe we'll go back to it later. But for right now, we have the new game plan. That's right. And you may notice here it says with maybe a little bit of old. That can actually be interpreted two ways. Cue the video. What's good, everybody, and we're back. It's gonna be another Chaos Coaching today, and yes, we're gonna be running the gun split close offense, which is what our main offense was for the majority of Madden 20. So we're gonna be trying it here today. I think it can be pretty effective in the next gen of Madden 21. So that's what we're gonna be doing here. I'll talk about the playbooks here in a bit. I just wanna to touch on a few changes that we made to our lineup as far as personnel and abilities. Let's jump over to the lineup. So as far as changes to the team, we've upgraded Tyree Kill to that plus one boost from the team of the week. We picked back up Terry McLaurin to replace Chad Johnson as our second wide receiver. And now Chad Johnson's our third wide receiver to replace Marquise Brown, who we now sold. Chris Cooley is now our starting tight end to replace Vernon Davis, who's now our backup tight end. We picked up Jonathan Ogden because before we had Orlando Pace there, but Pace was a left tackle, so we couldn't get edge protector in that position. Now we didn't make any changes to our team defensively, personnel wise, outside just moving some players from specialists over to starters just because we picked up some players that fit into our 49ers and washington football theme teams therefore we were able to put some players over from specialists and move them over to starters. and we actually put some abilities on them so we'll talk about that when we get to the defense we'll start with the offensive abilities here first off we have tyree kill who just has double me jonathan ogden has edge protector chris cooley who will be playing tight end for us but we actually have slot apprentice because in the split close offense that position is actually treated as a wide receiver, so we needed to get slot apprentice, not tight end apprentice. We have Brandon Scherf, who has threat detector. Terry McLaurin, another just double me, no actual uh, abilities there. Omaha and Gunslinger for Josh Allen. I really like Omaha. If you're able to activate it, it can really help you out showing your opponent's defense. Walter Jones, another edge protector on the team. We're going with two for now. Reggie Bush, backfield master. And then Raheem Mostert is also a backfield master, but it's actually going to be two AP as opposed to one for Reggie Bush just because of the different R types. Uh, Mostert's not a receiving back. So that's it for the offensive abilities. Now we'll get over to the defensive ones here. And for defense, we're trying out some things here. We really don't know where we want to go here. So what we're doing, we're just going with straight up acrobats and double or nothings. That's what we're going with right now. So we have seven, ac seven acrobats, I believe. There's one, two. There's a double or nothing. Another acrobat there. Uh, under pressure and double or nothing here. So we actually do have an under pressure on Javon Curse. So actually, let me change that. We actually have five acrobats. I did forget that I had under pressure on Javon Curse, who actually is going to be playing DT for us. Tracy Porter is just going to be a universal coverage. Deontay is just a universal coverage. Kendall Fuller has acrobat. Taylor Mays has acrobat. And then Lawrence Taylor is just going to be another double or nothing. So that's it for the abilities on both sides of the ball. Really just trying some things. We'll see how we like them. It's, a, it's the new games. So we're not really used to it yet. We'll see how we like those abilities. For playbooks, we're going to be using the Patriots offense. And they have the gun split close. But they also have their own version of the gun trips tight end. Which is what I meant by two interpretations when I said a little bit of old in the still game plan. Because if we have our opportunity, if we need to, if we're struggling in the gun split close, we can go to the gun trip side end and still feel a little bit comfortable in that. So that's why I meant by a little bit of the old game plan in the new. We have that option available to us. Now, gun split close is going to be the main. That's where we're starting off. That's the priority. And then we can kind of see how we feel about it. If it's not working well for us, in our opinion, we can switch it up. But if not, we'll stick with the gun split close. Defensively, we're still going to be in the Giants playbook, but things are going to be ran a little bit differently. I did want to note that on hot route tips right now, all those playbooks are really just for the Xbox One and the PS4. For the Xbox Series S and the PS5, that's going to be a little bit different. Things are going to be ran a little bit different. We're going to try to get some content up there that fits that. But the defense and the offense, things are just going to be ran a little bit differently. So we're just trying to figure it out right now, both in the Giants defense and in the Patriots offense. We're going to try to figure it out as best we can how we want to run these schemes. That is it for the team. Let's get into the game. Here we go with this one. We haven't used split close in the video in what feels like a very, very long time. It should be a good one. And we're actually going to be starting on offense. That is perfectly cool. I'm excited to use the split close. We haven't used it much in month. This is actually only my second game using it. So I'm excited to see how we can do with it. And we're actually going to be starting this one off with one of my favorite plays in the formation, which is called Y out. And I think this is going to be a cover three. So we're hoping to see if we can get a uh, pass over the top. Oh, they did a good job. I don't know if they reheat deep half or not, if it's because we got bumped or what, but it wasn't open. We're actually going to go back to it here. We're going to go back to it here and see if we can get that pass again here so we'll see how it goes but i'm hoping they stay in that cover three because it looked like they they had a middle third there so if it wasn't a cover three it was like a cover two invert type but we'll see what we can get here now if they aren't in a cover three we might have some other things there available to us as well so it's not just a play that's only built 
recover three now we'll, we'll see here double team let's try to pick up some pressure here we'll see what we can get this one it looks like cover four cover no it's cover three no i got hit yes Tyreek! oh i wasn't sure if we were gonna get the pass i wasn't sure if they were gonna drop back to get the pass we got hit as we threw let's go definitely happy with the start to this game now we got to try to see if we can get a stop right here they're coming out on this gun trio and oh they're actually gonna take a delay of game you know what we'll decline that all early on in games if people are setting their audibles and stuff like that i don't mind declining a penalty for them just because it takes a little bit of time especially on this new game i'm still not used to it as you saw i'm missing a timeout because i called timeout on mine so i don't mind taking the uh the decline there and ronnie lot and ronnie lot let's go okay this gun trio it's got some inside zones in it you saw there they also have some other things that they can go to crossers and stuff of that nature but i'm not too familiar with it it's not the most familiar formation for me oh they're actually going to gun bunch now i was going to say where it's going to be a little bit of a feel out to see what they are capable of from that formation but it's still going to be that it's still going to be a feel out drive seeing if they like to pass the ball deep pass the ball short run the ball more etc etc but i'm a little bit more familiar with gun bunch than i am uh with that gun trio so we'll see what we can do to stop it here we got a little bit of pressure we got a little bit of pressure can we pick it up oh i thought we were gonna be able to pick that up right there we got a little bit of pressure we'll definitely take it third and 25 now they're probably gonna try to get uh, like they most likely will try to get about half this back here so we'll likely get one of their better plays and then if we can get to a fourth down we'll see if we can get their best play so we'll see what we can do here i don't i want to play sticks i want to play sticks i don't want to give up the full first down now i don't mind giving up half back it's kind of where it's one of those situations where if the offense gets half back and the defense gets half back they're kind of both happy with it oh well, that's gonna be more can we get back to that teammates we cannot get back to that with teammates oh no oh no oh no i i said i didn't want to give it up all all of it back we did give it all back we gave up a touchdown not what we wanted there not what we wanted we're gonna have to try to answer back right here definitely noted though that they had that bunch trail open against that cover two i'm gonna have to adjust my defense in order to try to stop that let's see if we can get a score right here we're actually gonna go to some double wheel action it was one of my favorite concepts oh a little bit of pressure a little bit of pressure we had it through it a little bit earlier than we wanted to that was one of my favorite concepts last year right was going to that double wheels just because i feel, I feel like it gets to a really nice spot against the zones they said some pressure there so we might have to block somebody this time though we're actually gonna try to go deep again we're gonna tr we're gonna try to go deep it worked before so we'll try to do it again now i'm gonna double team because it doesn't look like they're sending pressure this time because that that uh slot corner is not in the slot anymore so it looks like they're not sending the pressure we might have the we might have it again we might have it again can we make the throw josh allen made the throw terry mclaurin let's go now we're actually gonna have to try to get a stop on defense now i kicked the ball deep here i kicked the ball deep here i want to note you probably it's, it's my best recommendation to be sky kicking right now i've given up several kickoff returns just even just as this game already came out i've already given up several kick returns i want to be sky kicking but it's something i need to get in the habit of doing so that i don't kick the ball deep every time we've gotten rid of that middle opening in the cover too so we can try to stop that deep post nice read nice read i don't want to give up any deep touchdowns with that bunch trail anymore that's something i'm going to try to prevent i want to try to make everything stay in front now i want to get a stop of course but we don't want to give the easy touchdowns like that one play over the top touchdown we do not want to give that up so we're going to try to create a cover three a lot of the time at least and try to prevent try to prevent them from getting those big plays you want to just you know play as safe as you can and then maybe try to get force a mistake right if you just continue to just do your best do your best keep making play underneath maybe they try to go over the top and they don't get it so just continuing to try that stuff bounce it back oh great read great read okay we're getting dotted right now we're actually getting straight up dotted nothing we can say about it we're going to have to try to adjust our defense to try to to try to stop what they're doing because they are doing a great job right now and there's nothing else we can really say about it so see what we can do I'm actually going to adjust to the cover three but i'm going to keep i'm going to keep this vert hook on the right side we're gonna keep that vert hook to stop that curl so i can just use her the crosser that's going across here so hopefully it's the same play great read great read i thought they were blocking that player they blocked that player on the motion before so i honestly just i just assumed that they were doing that again we're getting dotted right now we're going to try to figure something out on defense continue keeping stuff in front got to figure something out i'm trying those same adjustments here to try to take away that curl route with that bird hook and then watching anything going over the middle with my user here Ooh, ooh. all right intentional grounding i wasn't sure wasn't sure if they were outside the pocket or not it was a little bit longer of a play but we'll definitely take that that actually puts them out of field goal range here if we can get a sack or at least even a throwaway right here we'll be in a really nice spot now i'm gonna do the same adjustments that i was doing before i like that bird hook there i like the cover three shell on the back side if anything goes to the flat that's something that i need to be watching so i'm watching the right side nope it's gonna be a crosser give me a crosser the bird hook I, i'm gonna need in the middle of the field i'm gonna need in the middle of the field the vert hook was not near that curl that's my that's my mistake that's my mistake i thought it would actually probably guard it 
it didn't so we're actually going to try something right oh they went back to this trio we we have a chance of shooting the gap on this we have a chance of shooting the gap on it we're going to try with ronnie lat i didn't get there in time that was really close but i didn't get there in time now they're, they got a new first and 10 here about 320 left here so if they continue to take a little bit of clock i may call timeout if i feel like we can get the ball back but as it looks like right now we should be able to get at least some time here so i definitely like that i'm actually going to put a three back. i'm actually not going to blitz here I'm actually not going to blitz and that three back should take away the curl route that they have and the three back did the three back did bounce back that's okay we'll definitely take that we have the three back in the middle of the field again to try to stop that curl i'm watching the crosser oh i'm honestly i'm not even really sure how that player got manned up i didn't do that oh i had a soft squat that might have been how that happened that wasn't what i was trying to do that was not what i was trying to do so that actually worked out well that they were there but that wasn't what i was trying to do but it actually looked decent i'm gonna i'm gonna you know i'm gonna shade if you shade you can get rid of the squad soft squad you can shade down to get a hard flat shade up to get a cloud flat that's how you can get rid of it here so we're gonna take this to the two minute warning we have our timeouts here anything in balance i'm gonna call timeouts on I'm watching for this base here they had some success with that run on the last play so i'm watching for it we're shaded up so we can keep our flats on the side that we want them to be on and that's okay we'll definitely take a throwaway that stops the clock and it allows us to keep our timeouts and it's another down right so second and goal from the fight i'm watching that base again i'm watching that base again i have that three wreck there if we need it those are the two things i'm really looking out for here and if they do run base we'll try to shoot the gap on it i'm not even sure if we can do that or not it's just gonna be a test great read great read definitely we definitely have, we're getting dotted right now let's just be honest we're getting dotted we have some time before half let's see if we can get a score i'm still gonna assume here that this is a cover three they sent a little pressure we'll take the taper out we'll take the taper out. i'm gonna assume this is still a cover three I'll continue to run the setup that I want to run, assuming it's cover three, until it's not cover three anymore, until I see a, a change, just because I'm, I'm liking the way that that play is working. And I've said this in the past, but if a play is working for you, I would stick with it. I would stick with it until that play stops working for you. And that's just how I like to, that's just how I prefer to run offense. And then once it stops, we can start to mix it up. They're actually on. They're on. Oh, I, I barely got that pass away. They were actually on what looked like the middle deep third. And they sent some heavy pressure. So I'm going to need a little bit more of uh like hot reads in the play where if they blitz i can get the ball out quickly because i didn't really have one there outside of the running back but i did not think i saw the running back there now actually on on a third down here on a third and in inches we have timeouts i'm actually just gonna run the ball i'm just gonna run the ball try to get this first down move the chains and that's what we were able to do and i'll actually just take a timeout now we still have one more but i just wanted to move the chains there i didn't want to get stuck on a fourth down and be in a spot where i have to go for well i don't have to go for it, but if i go for it and don't get it they're going to have the ball in our territory. So that's something that I wanted to make sure we picked up there. Now, I'm actually going to put the running back on a route here to try to uh, counter their blitz if they go to a blitz. But they're not in the big nickel that they were in before or nickel normal. They're in a 3-3-5. So looking for this play again. This isn't cover three this time. This isn't cover three. It's not cover three. If it was cover three, it wasn't, it wasn't open. So they did something different there. So now we'll change it up. That's what I was saying before. Once they show that they will, that they'll guard, that they, they're, they're going to adjust to that. I'll switch up from what I'm doing and we can kind of go to something else now. So I'm going to plan on them kind of guarding that. I'll go to like, I'm going to go to double wheels. Double wheels was one of my favorite setups last year. That's what we're going to go to here. You know what? We're actually going back to it. I think it's cover three this time. We're actually going to go back to it here. We have our running back. We have our running back. Oh, we were just able to get the ball out. We were just able to get the ball out. That's what I was talking about with having those hot reads. It's just having a play that we, uh, player that we can go to with a quick read. That actually wasn't as quick as I was hoping it to be, but we were able to get the pass off nonetheless. So we'll take it getting close to field goal range here but we do have one timeout and we are running a little bit uh like slow is, is in that we we have we're running out of time here so i'm gonna block the running back actually i'm gonna put them on wheel i'm gonna put them on wheel because i don't think they're blitzing and we need to try to pick up a big chunk right here so we can get uh get down the field a little bit quicker we have the slant and that's what we needed right there that's what we needed we have about 54 seconds i'm gonna take my time out now this isn't my best clock management as i was saying we're going a little bit slower than i wanted to go uh down the field but that's just a, a credit to our opponent on the blitzes that they did and getting some pressure on us. So I'm going to go back to double wheels here. That can get us nine to 10. A lot of times if we're able to throw the wheels that we want, if we can get that completion, I'll like where we're at. And we have the running back. There we go. I'm actually going to spike. I'm actually going to spike, 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 spike. We can get the play. We were able to get a lot of yards, get close to where we can actually kind of throw to the end zone from here. Now we don't want to take a sack. We don't want to take a sack. If we do, we'll probably just end up spiking and uh just taking our field goal we don't want to take a sack here but we can go to the end zone and as long as we're not forcing any passes i feel comfortable doing that so we'll see what's open here and if nothing's open we'll try to throw the ball away but again if we end up taking a sack it's not 
it's not the worst because we can still uh, just spike and take our field goal because it's second down. So we'll reevaluate on third down, but right here, nice blitz. They did a nice shot blitz, and we might have had our running back able this angle, but this is what I was saying before. This is third down, so we can just spike it here, go to fourth down, try to take our field goal, try to go into halftime with the lead. So we were able to get that field goal. We're going to be starting this half on defense now, and we were getting dotted pretty much all half. We were getting dotted pretty much all half here, so we're going to try to figure out something on defense. We were able to, we did remember to do our sky kick right here, but now we have to try to adjust on defense. From the bunch, they did a great job of dotting us pretty much the entire way, right? And then um, when they went to the run out of the trio, they had, they had some successful runs as well, which is what they're going to now. We're going to try to see if we can um, hit this run in the backfield. We were able to do that once earlier in the game. We were close on the other down, but we didn't get there. So it's just, we were one for two on it, I believe. We'll see if we can get back there fast. They might, they, there's some good passes out of this formation too. So we can't rule out them passing the ball out of it either. They're actually motioning. So they're going to try to do this blocking here. So I'm going to assume that they're passing. I'm assuming that they're passing. Ooh, let's go. We got it. We got an intentional grounding. That's good. Last time we did this, we ended up giving up a deep touchdown. We're going to try to prevent that this time. I'm going to assume here that yep, they're going back to the bunch. So I'm going to assume that they're... I'm going to do the three rec. And then we're going to send a little bit of pressure off this running back side the way that we have been. But I need to watch this left side middle. This left side middle, they were motioning across like either drags or slants. And then that crosser is also giving us a little bit of issues going across the field. So I, I did not shade there. So we're like, ooh, ooh that was... I, I, you know what? My player blitz there. I was not planning on blitz them. I thought I had a three rec there, but we were able to get pressure. But since that pressure came in, maybe we should send that pressure again. I'm not sure. But... I, I did not think I blitzed right there. So, you know what? You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to blitz off that side. When I have the three wreck, I'm going to try to take take away that deep post that we gave up before. And then we have the cloud fight on the left. I'm going to be watching. I'm going to blitz this here. I'm going to be watching for this crosser. It's a corner route. It's a corner route. It's a laser. Laser. We, I think we hit. Oh, I missed the tackle. I think we've had two third and 22s and we've given up both of them. I should have put the flat out there. I should have put the flat out there. That's my mistake again. Both times we've been ahead on the sticks and we've given up a big play. We don't want to do that anymore. We do not want to do that anymore. Watching the running back here. So now I'm watching. I'm wa I don't have to watch the deep middle because we're going to the cover three shell, but I'm watching the right side if they happen to go out on like a quick pass. We're, but we're sending five here. We didn't get the we didn't get the five in. We didn't get the five in. I thought we might get it uh, get it in like we did before. We didn't. So we're gonna put that flat back out there. We're not stopping it. We're not doing the great greatest job of stopping that flat. But they're not going to the uh, that deep post that they were going to before. So I'm actually gonna keep the cover two shell. And by doing that, we allows us to have the flat outside without taking away that three wreck that we have. So we have the three wreck there. We have the flat outside. That prevented the corner out, and they went back to it. They went back to it. They've just been a step ahead of us on offense for the majority of the game. I said they haven't gone to that post play as much. They go to it there. Laser. Let's see if we can get a score. We're not on a hash here, so we're actually just going to start off running the ball. We can also see what the run defense is looking at out of uh, out of what I believe is big nickel. Oh, we got a chance. We got a chance. Okay, that actually looked, that looked pretty good. So we actually might go back to that at some point. But now we're to our hash mark, and we're going to kind of just... Feel out what I think they're in. I think they're in the cover three. I think they're in the cover three. If they are, we should have this uh, deep route uh, across the field. If they're not, then we'll just try to take one of uh, our check down or maybe our corner route. So we'll see here. And we Oh, I think we have it. Oh, Josh Allen again with someone right there. Josh Allen was able to make the throw. We'll definitely take it. Now we have to try to play some defense because we've given up a touchdown on every single drive. I have an idea defensively here. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. Uh oh, it's not going to work. We don't have our deep blue. We don't have our deep blue. I'm running to the right. That was not the adjustment that we wanted right there. We want it. Uh oh. Uh oh, we want a deep blue. We want to go to this cover three shell, but we also want to be able to take away that middle curl that's giving us issues. So the two routes that's giving us trouble. The deep post and then the curl route. We need to adjust our defense based on those. So that's what we're looking at right here. We have this uh, cover three shell on the right side. We're going to send this pressure off the left. And then we have a three wreck, uh, hopefully a three wreck in the middle of the field. So that's what, oh, I didn't get the three wreck. I didn't get the three wreck. Okay. Okay, we have a middle third there. Fuller, Fuller, yes, yes. Fuller made the play. We didn't get the adjustments that we wanted there, but Fuller was in that middle deep third and was able to make the play. Now, now we're in a play where we're in a place where we want to try to take as much clock as possible, but we also want to get seven. A seven would put us up two scores. That's the priority. If we get a seven, we have to. We should probably take it. But 
if we don't get seven, the next thing that we want to look at is at least taking as much clock as we can here. So we're looking at both. We're just going to run this power out to try to get to a hash mark. And we'll, we'll take that. We just want to run the ball to get to a hash. I honestly am liking the way that that run looks. I'm going to go back to it here. I'm liking what, the way that this run looks. And actually, they're in a nickel, uh, nickel set, so they're in a nickel 335. I'm going to flip it because that's away from the slot corner. Now, they're actually going to move. That's that's smart. That's smart. They grabbed the slot corner. That was a smart play. That was a smart play. But you, I like to run the ball away from the slot corner if I can. So I like to flip that play. Now, we are able to take a decent amount of clock here. Now, I'm going to try to get this to a play underneath that 30 seconds where I can stay in bounds and take it uh, to the next quarter, right? But I can't. I don't want to hike the ball until it's under 30 seconds. We're actually going to go to double wheels. Double wheels has several um, several quick reads that we can make on it. And I just like saying double wheels because we used double wheels so much last year that I've gotten used to it. So we're looking for double wheels here. We actually have the streak. We actually have the streak to Cooley. And that was underneath the 30 seconds. Now we'll be able to take this to the end of the quarter. As we start this fourth quarter off, we're going to go back to the run here. I've liked the way that this power O's looked. We got a chance outside Reg. Right? Stay in bounds though. Stay in bounds though. I've liked the way that that power O, that power o has looked. I'm actually going to come out in the split close to the short side here because they've been having that nickel uh, slot corner on the left side so we're just going to run to the right and they actually have it on the right here so we're going to flip it we'll see if they flip with us either way i want to run the power row though either way i want to run it just uh, just because i felt like we've had success with it let's go monster let's go monster Ooh, that was close okay then we're in a spot here now that is actually gonna be kind of tough to fully clock out so we're not that we're actually not in the greatest spot here we have to kind of it's gonna be really tough to run the clock out so we kind of have to get seven now we don't have to but to be in the most ideal spot we're gonna uh that, that'd be the most ideal thing is to get to seven so quickly go into this wheel route here Ooh, we have the, we have the running back streak let's go reggie let's go reggie now we're in a spot where i think it's actually impossible to clock assuming they take time out so let's make sure here that we're all set with the best play that we can get because if we don't get in right here they have a chance to get seven to win the game and we haven't played the best defense all game we have not They've done a great job moving the ball pretty much all game long. So now we're, we have second and goal from the 10 yard line. We're going to have to try to get seven here. It was our favorite red zone play last year. It's going to be our favorite in this game. We're going double wheels here. We have Mostert. No, I mean, Reggie Bush. Okay, now. Oh, we got in. We got in. I was about to say third and goal from the one. Reggie Bush rolled into the end zone. We're up 10. And that is actually going to do it. Great game to our opponent. We struggled stopping them all game long. But we were able to get the win. Shout out to them. Great game to them. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm excited to be back in the split close. I had a lot of fun running it. We're going to continue running it in future videos, at least in the near future. If you all did enjoy it, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Only if you want to. Take it easy. Peace. I really did not expect to run split close this year. I'm super excited about it. I hope you are too. I'll see you all in the next one.